How you doing today guys? Welcome back to another video. And as you saw in the previous video, I got another bike. Even though on one of the videos before when I saw my accent, the black, the black accent, I said I was not gonna get anything else. I didn't necessarily lie because I didn't know I was gonna end up getting this. If you recognize the bike on the other video or the uh, when I set it up, or if you haven't seen that video, I got a mongoose grit, a gravel bike. Now, before I start, as usual, you can become a channel member. It's, uh, I got that feature now. Also, you can check the affiliate links in the description below if you wanna help the channel. Other than that, old fashioned, subscribe, turn the notification bell on, give me a comment down below. That helps the channel a lot. Other than that, let's get right into this. So, Mongo's Grit, why did I get this bike? Mm. And to tell you the truth, I don't know. Am I gonna keep it? I don't know. For now, this is just a, a quick overview of the bike and uh, um, everything that I did to get it out of the box, get it functioning right. As everybody knows, this is a Walmart bike. I got this bike online. Um, today is actually, May the 23rd. I'm not gonna I'm not sure when you're gonna see this But uh, it actually it said it was gonna be here on June 3rd or something like that and Or 16 June 16, but it ended up shipping super fast. I got it over here within a week It was like four or five days this bike. I got it as a discount price I got it for $378 plus taxes, which ended up being around $402. Originally, this thing sells for $498, which with taxes will probably bring you around $550. Now, let's go over the components real quick because I don't wanna take too much time. Let's go over everything that we have over here. So this is a gravel bike. Uh, it comes with a drop bar and it has a micro shift. This is a two shifter so you have the shifter over here and to come back over here so this is the dual paddle shifter and if you press it like this this is the brake this brakes front and rear but if they're only 160 millimeters front and back and they're mechanical okay for the front shifter we have a micro shift seven speed and this is also brake and lever lever shifter uh, including the, this is to go to the lower gears and this is for the higher gears you can come back over here we have a standard uh, I don't know this might be like around a 70 or 90 millimeter a stem but this seems to have like a little bit of a drop maybe 10 degrees or something like that okay the front derailleur is a Shimano turning it's a 2 by and I have a 48 Toot larger chain ring and a 32 toot lower chain ring. And like I said, this can be removed and then convert to a single chain ring. And if that's something that you would like to do, then the chain is a KMC, which is pretty nice. And this is a two by seven. And over here we have a 14 toot 2A. 34 tooth mega range Shimano mega range. This is a Shimano mega range, so that's a really good thing. However, it is a free hub, it's, it's free will, it's not a cassette, so that's probably one of the drawbacks that I can see in this bike. At the rear, we have a Shimano turning, which is good, and this is a seven speed. And uh, I, I, these are kind of okay components over here. Then, of course, you have the square taper bottom bracket over here and other than that the aluminum frame is really really nice the wells came out okay we have a lot of mounting points for racks things like that also you have one two three four and then on the other side five bottle cage mounts you can also mount another rack over here on the front and then 
the seat post is aluminum and it's one of those adjustable like that so this is pretty good it's a mongoose seat and it's I used to go for a spin over here in the street and it doesn't look that uncomfortable it's, might be okay for a little while now the only thing that I did not install from factory were the pedals because you know they come with the ugly pedals that have no grip whatsoever so I got this from the blue uh, the black axum the biking flat pedals these are really really nice I love these things and these are the original pedals mongoose with very plasticky they're kind of heavy as well I'm not gonna use them I'm just gonna leave them like that now this is supposed to be a large frame this is a 19 inch frame it is supposed to accommodate people 64 to 74 inches tall so this is a large frame then what what else do we have over here we have Kenda tires these are wire bead 30 tpi casing Kenda kickback and these are really gravelly tread pattern and this is probably what i'm looking for aluminum double wall wheels front and rear and what i like the most about this bike well let's just look at that hump look like quasimodo kind of thing but we have internal cable routing for the rear shifter the front shifter and the rear brake so everything is internally routed and the headset i haven't confirmed but I think this is a 44 millimeter headset. So if we needed to upgrade the fork to a tapered car carbon fork, I think this is gonna be something that I'm looking for in the future. Now the graphics, they're clear coated in. They the, the paint is super shiny. I love this. It looks super nice. Not a super fan of these graphics right here, but they will do. And then you have the grid right there. We have the headset right I mean the uh, stem 90 millimeters with a negative 7 degree drop so let's get right there and of course it's threadless so this is one of the things I always look for in this type of bikes and it's running tubes 6061 aluminum so oh there's another water bottle mount over here in the bottom so what did i get this bike as some of you know uh, on the shorts that i've done uh, i take my kids to soccer practice on tuesdays and thursdays and i want to ride because if i can run i run but sometimes like last time i run i it actually heard my my cough muscle popped and that thing hurt like a mf so i'm just been taking my bike you've seen that i took my blue Axon before I changed the tires to more rolling uh, tires. So this is one of the reasons I got this bike now also Because this is kind of like a road type kind of thing And I want to see if I'm into that as well so I weighed this bike and it weighed in out of the box with only the pedals that I swap a 19.60 pounds or 13.23 kilograms. I think this is a really great deal because if we start modifying it, like you know what we're gonna be doing regardless, what am I gonna put in there? I have no idea. But once we start modifying this, I think I could probably drop it to 25 pounds, something like that, which is gonna be a very, very light bike. Now the fork, this is one of the heavy parts because the fork is a steel fork. So this is a lot of weight right here. So if we change this to a carbon fork, probably gonna drop the four pounds right there. Now, out of the box, minimal adjustments on the shifting, especially at the front, micro adjustments. And I also play with the little screws because it was off. Uh, and it's gonna keep on getting off on the first few rides because the cable is gonna stretch once they're new. When they're new, they're gonna stretch, and once they're used a little bit, I'm gonna do another micro adjustment. It is normal, happens with all the new bikes. The other thing that I had to do, let me see if I have one over here, because I think I took it back to the garage. The front brake. Well, I did align both brakes, I adjust both brakes, but the front was giving me trouble. Let me show you something. You know, the brakes, the bolts, 
one right here on the top one right here at the bottom and this is for the front one because i want to talk about the front one bottom looks a little bit different and i'm going to show you what happened so this is a caliper bolt and as you know this thing comes with the washers so this washer was actually rubbing up against the disc and you can't take off this washer because it's stuck in there so i had to get some pliers cut it up remove the washer and then I went ahead and put the bolt in there and problem solved. I thought it was the uh, the bearings, the hub, that weren't causing the problem, but it was not. I even took it apart. I have a little short video about that. I don't know if it's out yet. It might come after this. I don't know. But um, I took away the hub uh, thinking that it was missing a bearing. All the bearings were there. I took advantage and risked them up, the front hub and it kept on doing the same thing so it was this little washer that was causing causing the whole problem so check on that uh troubleshoot a little bit and it might be a super easy fix but other than that the bike is looking great can't wait to start riding it and see how i like it because i'm not sure about the drop bars my I bought it with the intentions of if I didn't like drop bars, just putting a head, go ahead and putting a flat bars. But what I want to do is because on the park there's a lot of wind, because it's a really open space. I want to drop my body down and get more aerodynamics, so I can get a little more fat, a little faster speeds. Hopefully, I get used to this. If I don't, then we'll see. We'll see about that. At the moment, I'm not gonna do anything to it. I just got the pedals because the other ones I don't like them and we'll see how this bike progresses other than that why did I get a mongoose grid okay I had two options I was actually looking into getting a polygon gravel bike very similar to this internal cable routing everything very very similar I was actually looking for the polygon bend R2 and it's a 2021 model. It is currently on sale for $899. I'll leave an affiliate link for that one below. Make sure you check it out. You might like it. The reason I didn't go with that one is, there's two reasons. That one only comes on 650 cc's. What does that mean? This is a 700 cc. What does that mean? What a 600 cc means? If you're not into road bikes, so this type of bikes, 600 is basically a 26 inch, 650, 27 and a half, and 700, basically a 29er. And I wanted a 29er, therefore, that's why I got this one. However, the Polygon Bend R2, it is 29er, 29er compatible, but it doesn't come as an option. It only comes with the 650s. Yes, it has better hubs and a lot of good, more things, but, it was double the price, more than double the price. And like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. And that's why I ended up choosing this bike. The only re the other reason is that, again, that one has a cassette, this one has a free wheel, but I have the Cooser wheels that I put in on the blue Axum. I might end up putting them over here and that way I'll have a cassette compatible rear hub with a really nice hub and maybe even a lighter wheel. But like I said, I'm not gonna do anything to it right now because ka-ching, ka -ching. Money, don't have money for that. So, I hope that you like this video. If you're looking into getting a gravel bike, adventure bike, I, I do recommend this bike and I'll leave an affiliate link for this one as well below. Also check the one from Polygon. Now, I think this is a better deal than Polygon and if Polygon wants to prove me wrong, go ahead and send me one. I'll review it and compare them. Why not? I'm up for that. Other than that, that's gonna wrap it up. If you wanna support the channel, as usual, check the affiliate links in the description below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you wanna make, become a channel member, you can do that as well. That's it for today. And I'll see you on the gravel. Let's ride. Goodbye.